set list is unique. Now, normally when you see a stand-up comedian perform, you're seeing them give you material that they have created, they have crafted, they have honed, they have perfected. We are going to give them a set list. They are going to improvise a stand-up comedy routine out of thin air. The comedians will see their set list topics at the exact same moment that you see them for the very first time. Exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for your next fearless set lister? Are you ready for your next fearless set lister? Ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome the never before seen set list of Mark Wahlberg! How you guys doing? You guys doing good? How you doing? I like the way you look, okay? You guys like my Voss bottle? Celebrity edition. You can't buy this. It has to be given to you. I was like, hey, you know what? I'm a movie star. But I can do a comedy too, okay? Did you guys see Ted? I destroyed that fucking movie. Did you guys see Pain Again? I let The Rock be in that fucking movie. He was like, Mark, can I be in a movie with you? I'm like, yes, you can, Rock. But you gotta stand behind me the whole fucking time. He did. You guys ready to do this? You're welcome. <laughs> you guys ever feel like things were made for you? <laughs> you know, you go into a house and you're like, I could buy this house. <laughs> or you put on a pair of shoes and you're like, did they make these shoes for me? <laughs> That's how I feel about reflections. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just be walking places on Robertson's. It's like a street for rich people. And I'll just be like, who the fuck is that dude? He looks like a hot Donnie Wahlberg. <laughs> it is a hot Donnie Wahlberg. It's me. Let's do another one of these. I'm gonna teach you guys something, okay? <laughs> and if you didn't learn this from the movie Painted Gang, I'm just gonna fucking spoon feed it to you. Don't trust people in tank tops. <laughs> I'm talking about all of them too, okay? Out here in LA, we got this neighborhood. It's called Echo Park. <laughs> Don't trust those people in tank tops. <laughs> they got credit cards with their dad's name on them, all right? Here's the other thing. If you live outside of the Midwest and you're not doing manual labor and you have a tank top on, your car better be broke down somewhere and you just had to walk here. <laughs> Here's another thing. I'm saving you guys time right now, you know why? Because I'm Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> and I do good things. Do you see the fighter? Maybe somebody else should have gotten an Academy Award for that fucking movie, that's all I'm saying, okay? I really fucking boxed in that movie. They were like, Mark, do you have a problem fighting people? And I'm like, what? <laughs> no, I don't have a problem fighting people. <laughs> I'm from Boston. I fought my kindergarten teacher. <laughs> when I was 22, I went back. <laughs> but here's the last thing I'll say about this. If you've got a pattern on your shirt, but a different pattern on your collar, don't talk to that person. <laughs> they don't deserve to be here. And they're willing to wait in lines. At clubs. In Las Vegas. And you know what I do? I don't wait in fucking lines, I'll tell you that much. That's called a Donnie thing. Line waiting. All right, here's the deal. When you're a former rap star, 
and an A-plus list celebrity? Some rules don't apply. For example, maybe I can't read or write. I can, fucking assholes for laughing at that shit, but maybe I can't, okay? I got problems with the alphabet. First of all, I never liked that fucking cereal. It was like Apple Jacks for smart kids. I don't fucking want this shit. One time I spent two and a half hours just trying to get my own fucking name in the ball. But I got it. M-A-R-R-K. I fucking nailed that shit. But people invent things to fucking make you wrong. Like, for example, I don't know if this applies to you guys. But you can drive as fast as you want. Sure, they got fucking rules for that shit. But one, pay for it. You guys are in movies like me, right? We're all like, this is a safe place. The other thing is, you just tell them on the floor, be like, that's a rule you set for yourself. That applies to other people. I'm Mark Wahlberg. That doesn't apply to me. You can try saying that. I don't know how fucking far it'll get you. But if you whisper it, you can get pretty fucking far. I'll beat one more of these. By the way, for the record, don't tell this to everybody else you saw tonight. I'm winning. I used to not be rich. But I still wanted to be with a girl, okay? So sometimes, you get what you pay for. <laughs> but it's about the exchange, okay? So you might say to a girl, what are you willing to do for this amount of money? She only fucking blinked at me. <laughs> but here's the deal. Here's the deal, okay? I put on the song Drive, right? She blinked to the beats. That was extra. She def you guys might not get that shit, because you know why? Newsflash, you're not even Donnie Wahlberg. You're like Linda Wahlberg, who nobody even fucking talks to. And I only see at family reunions, which you're all more than welcome to, but nobody gets to be my partner for the egg toss, okay? That's reserved, because I like to fucking win. Let's do one more of these. You guys, I got, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I got a movie coming out, okay? Here's the deal, though. I wrote it myself, by hand. You guys ever try to spell check something you wrote by hand? There's no fucking red lines. Problem with being Mark fucking Wahlberg is, by the time I got done, I went to go hand it to people, I'd already sold it. Now we established earlier, this is a safe place, okay? So I'm gonna tell you guys this. I don't have the heart to tell these people. It's not called investigation. It's called investigation. But I already fucking sold that movie. So now I had to write in, I'm like, I'm a cop who can't stop touching himself. And they were like. <laughs> Which to be honest, I fucking do that shit anyway. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. That was Daniel Van Kerr!